climax of existing technology. It's not something really new. It's the gathering of existing technology and the use at its maximum of a Moore's law that give to um, AI the capacity to gather data to uh, see what is significant in data at a level of analysis that has never been dreamt of by no one. Therefore, it's not something new from scratch as, uh, as digital was uh, 40 years ago, but it is the climax of digital and then gathering a lot of things that can do more than analyzing data and found in the data some new laws, some new way of acting in education, health, business, and many, many other activities. And I would say it's just, and it's amazingly important, um, a kind of uh, gathering uh, of all existing technologies into one. That was also a moment of hope with the uh, fall of the Berlin Wall, a moment of hope with the uh, development of freedom, market, free market and democracy around the world, and a moment of hope with technologies because it was the beginning of a digital world, mobile phone and everything which, is, uh, which has been uh, dreamt and that began. But it was also a moment of dark clouds because we had uh, nuclear weapons. We have very bad uh, nuclear plants in the former Soviet Union. And uh, we had countries in, around the world, and in particular in Eastern Europe, which were in a very bad situation. Therefore, there was a need for basic, as it is today, and the need for science fiction technology as it is today. And the difference is that now, as uh, Marco said, uh, it's totally global, totally open, uh, worldwide, why at this moment it was mainly continent by continent and not as a, as a short, less expensive, cheap uh, transfer of technology and cheap transfer of data at, as it is today. <clears throat> That's the main difference. Whatever we face in the 90s at the level of each continent, we face it now at the level of the world. In terms of infrastructure, we needed infrastructure for, techno for basic technologies such as water, energy, whatever in, in Eastern Europe and former Soviet Union. And we need also, and I was very proud to launch it, to organize the safety of nuclear plants. 